Hello and welcome to Regina Laska and Regina Sailing. Today I want to talk a little bit about paper charts and I've prepared some here, some that I use and uh, some that are my favorites. Do I use paper charts? Well, I actually do for three reasons. First of all, one can say I'm old enough to be brought up with paper charts. I'm used to using them. Modern people, younger people, the people who are uh, more known to um, the plotters and electronic navigation might think that this is the best of all worlds. But the two more reasons why I use the paper charts are no less important. One is the obvious one, namely redundancy. A lightning strike and maybe you don't have any power anymore. Or, which has happened to me, you have a breakdown of, for, of the plotter. It's a computer after all. The nicest thing about paper charts is the overview. So I really like to use paper charts for planning. While sailing and um, piloting, I like using the electronic charts on my plotter or my PC just as much. Um, for the overview, I can of course show you these beautiful charts from the Admiralty. So let's start with these Admiralty charts and see how they look. So look at this beautifully drawn, by hand actually, Admiralty chart. It gives a great overview over Great Britain, Ireland, North Brittany, the English Channel, Orkney, Shetland, Lowick, my home port actually. So I love using this for, for planning. Um, this is a Mercato pro projection, so we are very used to how these uh, work. So you take just the, um, the distance here and measure it from on one of the longitudes or to the left or right. So this is very beautiful. You can hang them up on a wall as well. Another overview chart, by the way, that I have for dreaming purposes is the IMRE number 100. And IMRE is the second type of charts that I want to present. The nice thing with IMRE is that it comes with a little book and then you can open it up and they fold nicely together. So that's why they fit into my cupboard so well. And this chart number 100 is my dreaming chart because as it says here on the book is very blue because it's the Atlantic actually it's a conical projection so that means that um, uh, that you can draw a line and they are not the same angle the same course all the time but it's the uh, the great circle routes so this is for really dreaming if you go from Europe down to Madeira, Canaries, uh, Cap Verdes, and then the, uh, well, if you want to cross the Atlantic to the Caribbean. And you can see that the North Pole here at the uh, longitude zero, there you have a, a sort of north-south bound. Well, it's all north-south, but it goes vertically. And the more west it goes, the more it turns towards the North Pole. So that's another projection, but it's very good for planning and they even give the distances here. So the Imre number 100 goes normally on my bedside table when I'm alone in bed and have nothing more to do than dreaming about long distance cruising. Otherwise, I do have uh, a favor or these used to be my favorite ones. Um, the IMRE charts where it also says that it's MCA recognized. Well, you are allowed to use on a pleasure craft any type of uh, uh, charts, of course, but um, it's, it's quite nice that you have a stamp on that they do work. So for Scotland, I have no other choice here uh, than using the IMRE and they are very practical. So you have here, for instance, the tidal graphs for this chart. And when you open up that one, it has the boast of two worlds, the best of two worlds. So here we are now in Scotland. Um, they come in different uh, sizes covering different areas. Uh, so that means that you can have them as more or less overview. This is the most detailed one for um, sailing in the inner Hebrides. We have open here, Mull, 
um, and uh, Jura and out here are actually the Outer Hebrides, Barra over there. So the nice thing is that you can plan your route nicely sailing uh, around this area and then you have certain uh, harbors which they have scaled up here so like looking at Tobemori here, here number C you can then look it up under Tobemori under number C and find it over here and you have it blown up not all harbors so when you get here and you do pilotage of course you should be very careful and you need electronic charts which makes it so much easier and I can very much recommend actually the uh, charts by Antares. So the Antares charts, electronic charts, are really good if you want to anchor because there they have been precisely measured. Big size, foldable, durable paper. So it's uh, both overview and details, folds together very nicely, fits nicely together into in my cupboard with some title information, a nice chart. Then uh, you can cut up the bigger charts into smaller pieces. And I know German Delius Klasing Verlag does that as well. Imre does it. Um, I don't have Delius Klasing Verlag on board right now, but I can demonstrate what I mean here. So here, these are loose small papers. So the idea is that this size here fits onto your chart table and it has all the details here of the North Brittany. The problem is that you're not quite sure where you are and as you can see all these papers are flying around and um, when you are in this little vicinity here it makes sense uh, and it's good maybe to have those but you, you completely lose the overview if you ask me so I'm not so fond about these um, many types of sheets of papers. My new favorite uh, well, they're not new, but to me they are new because I've completely migrated now where they have charts are these by German NV charts and they give a very nice thing um, They come in different for different areas. So here I have the one for South Brittany But the nice thing is they also come with an electronic chart So in the license you can get a or they it is included a code so you can use it on your phone or a free PC software and uh, the thing is that if you open up this page it becomes the same size as these loose papers as you can see the same width the same height so if you open them up they they also fit nicely on the navigation table and it has this beautiful overview so you can plan from Spain down here all the way to the English Channel although this only covers this area and you can easily see which other uh, NV charts uh, are coming adjacent to the one that I am in now. So when you open up the one that this area is about you again have a zoomed in version and the, the thing is that they all have page numbers and you can easily then find where you want to go. So if we for instance want to look at here this Golf de Morbihan more in detail or if we want to have these bigger areas, which is just a little bit zoomed in, we can choose C4 for the bigger area and C10 for the smaller area. So let's start with C4. So it says T2, C4 there, C4 here, Lorient, Belle Ile, and Golf du Morbihan, where we are interested in. So it's zoomed in, and you still have the same the nice, well, good overview. But we can go to C10 to zoom in more and on this chart you can see that there is a even more uh, detailed chart inside there. So we go to C10 and here we are. So we have the overview. So it's very intelligently cut. So they have purposely thought that well the navigators they want to sail in this area. So it's not only various official um, admiralty charts which are cut into pieces but it is done intelligently. Because, of course, you are either interested for the entrance, 24A, or you're interested in sailing around here, 20, C23, or going up to Van, 24B. And the, the nice thing is that they are, they are clearly marked. They are, um, they are nicely uh, cut. So this is now a detail. So you have two different charts next to each other. 
they give information about anchorages. They have this red line, which is very important for sailing boats, for yachts, because that is the two meter line. So many charts have three meters and six meters or five meters, so you have to get used to it. Um, but two meter depth line is what really is the red line, which we are not allowed to um, sail over in non-tidal waters, I must say, because of course this is all drawn to low astronomic tide. So it's okay to sail over green areas even, which becomes land at lowest astronomic tide. This was my little demonstration on the paper charts I like using, or I have been using throughout the years, and the pros and cons, and hopefully you find some joy using paper charts as well, because there's nothing more thrilling than planning a voyage and it's so much nicer to have it in front of you, nicely colored and uh, dreaming along where you want to be sailing. And that's what it's all about. Go out and sail.